Welcome back to 1257 AD. This is Arcade Night, and uh, it is a sad day. I, I thought I was going to be able to be at home back in Sterling next to the warm fire, my wife tending my wounds. But no, I come home, and what do I find? Norwich Village has been raided. And you may think it was by uh, the Hafsid dynasty, but oh no, 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 it's not. Apparently, what I did not realize, while we were all the way, a world away, uh, of fighting the Hafsid dynasty, someone else declared war on us, and that was the Emirate of Grenada. Uh, we also need to watch out for the Gaelic kingdoms because uh, there's a risk of war there too, so that's why I want to stay close to home, but these guys... And I'll show you where they are. The Emirate of Grenada is uh, right here. This is the Emirate of Grenada. These guys right here. Um, and they're also a Muslim uh, kingdom. So I think all these Muslim kingdoms are kind of like, you know, have some sort of uh, truce or treaty or defensive pact. Um, and maybe I didn't realize it. But, uh, yeah, so we're at war with these guys, and, of course, who do they raid but me? Um, so, he just raided it, so he can't be far. So, I'm on the lookout for this guy. He's going to spend the rest of his life here in England, if I have anything to say about it. Um, so, let's see if we can find him. Where did he go? He can't, th oh, there you are. There you are. You are so dead. Oh my goodness. I just, I can't stand for that. Just deal with it, dude. We're going to catch up to you. Deal with it. Boom. Mm-hmm. Who the hell am I? I am M. Effin Robert Royce. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to die. You're going to spend the rest of your life here in England. Sorry to say. Yep, two to one. Oh, and look at this battle advantage. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Let's get our archers. Quickly. Quickly, archers. Cavalry, over here. Uh, barons, uh, elites follow me. And support, watch the battle from that hill. So... Can we get our troops in place in time? It appears so. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, infantry, let's move over a little bit this way. And uh, let's see if we can poke the bear. Send my barons in. Charles. You're supposed to be back here, man. Charles. I don't want you to get hurt. Move it. Move it. Thank you. Alright, so. Uh, uh, yeah. Alrighty. Here they come. Are you guys ready? Are you in a good spot here? Uh, should you move over just a bit, maybe? Alright, so we lost one of our guys. Okay, archers, do you do the business, archers? Let's get them a little bit closer up. Oh, a Latin senior and I just got owned. All right, you got it, guys. You got it. You got it. Just hold him back. Look at this. Okay, they're coming. This is this is exactly what our archers want. Come on, low, longbowmen, get some kills. All right, I'll take care of this. Don't worry, don't worry. Ooh, good job. Oh, oh, oh. No, well, you didn't even need my help. What are you talking about? Oh, press the wrong button. Come on, guys. Infantry, move over.
All right, Wes Bowman. Yes, yes, yes. Doing the doing the deeds, doing the damage. I like it. Excellent. Keep it up. Keep it up. Look at those kills. Look at those kills. All right. Calvary. Finish it up, right? Bring the infantry in as well. Oh. Oof. Now, here come some reinforcements. That should not be a problem. Get off your horse. Get off your horse. Nice block. Pretty much everybody's charging, so except for my my bowmen, let's just move them up so they can better support us. But this battle is all but over at this point. Yeah, they've we've lost two. Yeah, it's it's over. Excellent work, men. Let's see if we capture this guy. I may have to write his name down and remember who he is so I could just keep him in my dungeon forever. He'll probably escape, though, so I should just take the money. Ah! Oh, oh, he's just wounded. He's just wounded. Okay, so it was allies who lost. Did we lose any knights? No, we lost the lesser military archer. Not a big deal. Um, did we get him? Of course he escaped. <sighs> Anybody good? Uh, sure, we'll take you. We'll take you. There you go. Uh, yeah. Now that you guys just collect that, let me do a quick save here. And, uh, yeah, so, so that's where we're at, you know. Norwich is looted. You know, I don't know how long it's going to take to get back up and running, but that's going to cost me a few grand at least. I think Norwich brings in about a thousand, a thousand dinars or a thousand gold, whatever the, this mod calls it. Uh, every every week so yeah that's that's some money lost hopefully I can make it up as hopefully yeah I can make it up in his ransom but that doesn't look like that's gonna happen so I'm gonna tell a couple of these guys to go home um, let's see um, can I tell someone specifically Okay, there you go. So I'm going to let some of these guys who are in real bad shape, <laughs> you know, pretty much, thanks, uh, but you're free to go. So I'm going to go ahead and try to grab as many, as these guys, many of these guys as I can. And then I was thinking... Um, I've been really wanting uh, to kind of host a, a, you know, a housewarming party, a castle warming party up in Sterling. And uh, so I'm, you know, I know I failed at a feast before, but um, I really want to see if I, I can make that happen. Um, so that is one of the things that we're definitely going to try to do. Um, you're still following me. I'm going to send you home. Come here. Come here. Oh, I have a pagan. A pagan? I'm going to have to... Where do these pagans come from? Alright, uh, you're free to go home. That's right, that's right. And then you, Sir Baldwin. Um, you are also free to go. Thank you for your service, sir. Um, 
Who is this pagan? What? What is this? I see a spy. Man, get get out of there. I can't I can't believe that. I just I can't believe we had a Muslim spy in our midst. I swear. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to have to grab these guys as they come. As I was running fast after that guy. Um, go home. You're free to go home. And, and you, sir, Roger Mortimer. thought I gave you a job, but... Uh, oh, I have a task for you. Oh, gosh. Clicking on the wrong buttons. The new task for you. You can go home. Okay. So, alright, everybody leave me alone. I had some business to attend to. Yeah, everybody's fine. You know, y'all had just a wonderful time. And y'all came home and your castles weren't looted. Or your villages weren't looted. You guys are following me? It seems like everybody's following me, even though I told you guys to return home. Maybe they're just really concerned. Maybe they're just really concerned about my well-being. Yeah, I hope that's the case. Um... Yeah, so, like, everybody's still following me. Wow. Well, y'all just gonna have to wait, because I'm not ending the campaign, because if I do, everybody over there in the Hafsa Dynasty is gonna come back home, and we're just gonna leave that place undefended. And I tried to send you home. Tried to send you home. So, uh, I just wanted to, uh, check on my goods, see what the, the situation is here. It's been a while. I've been away for a long time. Make sure these guys are doing their work. You guys are doing your work? Let's go over the taxes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Let's inspect the treasury. Well, I want to inspect it. I'm sure. I, let's see. Oh, there you go. 10,000. 10,000. Um, I want to build something. What haven't we built yet? Fletchery. Yes. All right, let's build a fletchery. I don't think I have a fletchery anywhere. Yeah. I want to, yeah okay, I'll resist. Okay, and then the warehouse master. Uh, let's check out. Okay, okay, it's been working. I better, better clear it out. Um, let's get the, the easy selling, high priced items. Also, God, do I need linen or wool? I always forget. Um, and let's see. Well, we can just grab all of this. Yes, nice. What else can we grab? Just the rest of this stuff. Because remember, we're still on that goal. Trying to get to at least half a million gold. I'd love to get to a million. Um, because uh, we have to take over England for ourselves. Uh, that's just what we're going to have to do. Uh, king Henry, unfortunately, is a nice king, but he's he's not a good king. Uh, we need more from our kings. We... we we need someone who can have a firm grip on all the British Isles, and, and he's done a poor job of, of trying to, to capture all of this, so that will be my, my first mission, to unite all of the British Isles under one flag. Uh, so hopefully we can start building to that goal. Food is low. I'm going to go and sell a lot of these items at York, and uh, I'm going to get some food with that as well. Let's see. Let's get some. Well, let's sell this stuff first. So, alright, buy this. Huh? Huh? Okay, okay. Let me just get all your bread. Okay. Can you can you buy some of this? So good, good, good. All right, you've got some money. Excellent, excellent. Close enough. Close enough. Another thing I've been thinking about is, is there a better sword for me? Now, I know I could go to a two-handed sword, and I'm, I'm considering it, and I've got some points in there. It's, it's something that the Earl has considered, and he's done some training on the matter. But, you know, frankly, the way archers are and the way these sieges are, are working out, a shield is a mighty important uh, piece of equipment. Um, but 
something like a one-handed two-handed sword could be great which I think I've already thought I had one yeah see I've got this one the only thing I don't like about it is the speed rating so low a 93 versus you know my speed rating of 98 although the weapon reach is much higher um, so it's something to consider uh, but I haven't you know I don't know I wish there was something better um, okay so heading up back to Sterling uh, unload some more of this stuff and really I want to try to get that siege happening I mean siege happening that feast happening about as successful at both of them um, okay so my garrison is looking really strong here in Sterling that's that's great so let's go to the marketplace see if we can get rid of the rest of these goods yeah man buy it buy it I, I don't mind selling it to you as at a cheap price and let's let's buy some extravagant food um, for our men let's see let's sell some more stuff to you boom boom that's good enough because their morale's been so low for so long, I feel so bad for them. Oh, 12. Boom, boom, boom. Close enough. Also, I've been thinking about getting something better. 64 is pretty good. I'd love to get um, something that has my heraldry on it. And something that has more armor than 64. Something in the 80s or 90s. Uh, but I haven't been able to find that yet so you know we'll see what happens hopefully we find that I keep checking I keep checking so let's sell uh, those two-handed axe yeah close enough close enough um, so yeah so my goodness my goodness all these I mean I I, I specifically told these people to go home and they're still following me I just feel I feel bad I feel bad so I'm just gonna send everybody home we're just gonna have to uh, see what happens yeah I want to end the campaign we no longer need our forces yeah let's see if everybody leaves because I'm just tired of everybody following me around go wow look at them are they just super loyal? Okay, there they go. <laughs> the code finally kicked in. Click. Is that just... Guys, I want some privacy. I haven't seen my wife in, in a very long time. Um, so, yeah, I'd like, like to talk to her and see what kind of situation we're in. Do we need um, some more items? Where is she? There she is. You know, if we want to start a feast, do we have everything we need? My, my guess is that we don't have everything we need so hey how you doing nice to see you nice to nice see you in case you guys don't know I'm married pretty good uh, if you haven't watched the early episodes and if you haven't you need to go watch the early episodes but um she is look who is her father oh yeah that's right the prince himself uh, the future king perhaps son-in-law mm-hmm that's me and and who? Yep, there you go. Lady Isabella. Princess Isabella, actually. Uh, so, for my role-playing sake, she is my, as you would say, route to the throne. Um, there's some family relation in there, and, and, and so um, that's kind of my excuse to take over because, you know, I've got some royal blood in the family now. Uh, so, anyway, so I want to talk to her. Um, I want to host a feast. Splendid idea. Um, yes, yes, yes. Well, let's take a look. Of food, the amount is magnificent. Okay. Of drink, the amount is magnificent. Magnificent of spice. Magnificent of oil. Magnificent. It's considered sufficient. Um, well, if that's the case, let's dispatch invitations. Because we seem good to go. Um, also, any any ideas? Nothing at this time? Okay. You know, you sent us on the quest for of two Johns, I believe. And, uh, you know, we got some relation for that. That's pretty good. So, you know, what a better time. We just came back from the war. 
everybody's ready to party and then we're gonna introduce them hey guys you haven't seen sterling yet but uh here's sterling castle so i'm looking forward to that let's just make sure everything is uh in order so how goes the war with the emirate of grenada the papal states holy moly what is going on here um what Well, I hope so. Why are we at war with the Papal States? Especially since we're fighting two Muslim countries. Uh... Well, yeah, for the sake of honor, but this one... Oh, barely begun. Why are we... I hope that's like a bug. I'm gonna have to... Okay, what... What, what is that all about? Why I was not aware of of England being at war with the Papal States. Okay. Whew. I was freaking out. If you don't know, if you go to war with the Papal States, you basically go to war with every um, Catholic nation in Europe. Um, that's not something we want to do. So I, that must have been a bug. Um... But yeah, still at war with these guys. Now, I will tell you, that is more appealing to me, to some degree, um, than going here. But I don't know. What's the difference between going here and going here? Although, you know, say you take Coimbra. Hey, you know, that's not too bad. I think that's, that's a town, right? The town, yeah. So, like... Imagine taking Cornbra. Prosperity is poor, though. But imagine taking Cornbra. Um, that's not bad, you know. That's not too far. It's not too far, you know. Because you know, one day we could, we could probably get a little piece of France here. Maybe get a little piece of this and kind of have like this kind of empire kind of growing out. Who knows? Who knows how far we can go? But um, that's interesting. Um, you know, we may do a scouting mission later down the road. But right now, we're resting, relaxing, uh, feast time. Also, we uh, need to check on Sterling Manor. It's somewhere between Sterling and Edinburgh. Okay. Um, somewhere, the Manor of Sterling. Where is the Manor of Sterling? These manors are sometimes... There you are. Very difficult to find. So, uh, let's check on on this to make sure current population is growing nice get to a thousand soon um what is happening hey what's going on guy okay so i'd like to inspect the treasury okay it's looking it's looking good um i want to build something um i don't think i could build stables oh let's build a marketplace i can't believe i haven't built a marketplace yet um brothel do I want a brothel up here? Mm, can I build this? Nope, don't have enough money. Alright, well anyway, keep collecting taxes. Uh, and let's check on this. Can you give me some loot? Alright, yes you can. So, not bad, not bad. Take all of this. Sell that stuff off. Making the money. Making the serious money and I haven't even withdrawn uh, my funds from um, sterling I think it's close to 30 grand right now or something like that so financially I think we're doing pretty good you know we've got a castle uh, we've got a town we've got a village that's just been looted losing money there uh, but I think I'm going to have to invest in some more industries. Um, I already have a lot of industries uh, over in this area. Um, but I'm, I was going to check. I was going to check in France to see. Um, yeah, maybe not. We get we go to we go to war with France so much. But I chose a lot of these industries because uh, they were some of the the highest yielding industries in the game. And also they're so far away that it, it's it's so unlikely that. We really will ever be at war with them, so I won't really lose, um, you know, I won't lose any money that way. 
Um, so that's why it's so important you're dropping like 10 grand, you know, and it takes, you know, 20, 30 some odd weeks to recoup your investment. You know, you don't want to go to war and lose that that money. So, so that's kind of where we stand now. Um, I'm hoping this feast will get going soon because uh, I would just, uh, I would love for everybody to see my castle and just kind of talk about this, you know, the great battles we fought. Oh, okay. Okay. So, France and the Hafsid Dynasty have made peace. <sighs> Let's hope that we'll make peace soon. Oh, my goodness. Well, I had no idea. I, I, I'm, I'm coming to help. We, are, we have just been completely overrun. I was up there in the north, and I wasn't doing my job. Oh, my gosh. You. Okay. Well, let's see what situation we're in. Um, we have... 12 men at arms. So they've got... They've got somewhere around 20... Wow, probably 25, maybe 30 cavalry were outnumbered. Man. Hmm. Interesting situation we have here. <sighs> what can we do? What can we do? We gotta stop them from being raided. What I don't want to have happen is, uh, uh, you know, you know what's gonna happen, right? Who's this? Is that your? Oh, you're running. You're running from that guy. Yeah. Well, I'm here. So he's coming after me. He's not worried. That makes me a bit worried. Hmm. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna end the episode right here, um, and I'm gonna think about this. Uh, and what I, what I really don't want to do is fight this battle in front of the village. I'd rather fight it kind of more on open ground. So uh, we're going to end this episode right here. And the next episode, uh, we're probably going to fight this guy because it's just my responsibility as Lord Marshal of England. Um, and uh, we're going to see how that turns out, hopefully uh, in our favor. Um, but anyway, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. Uh, press that like button if you enjoy the episode and comment. It was a pleasure being with you today, and uh, I'll see you next time.